Hello, I'm James Ingram for AutoControls.org. This video shows an NCE DCC mini panel controlling two large scale trains on one track using one reed switch as a sensor. This video is almost the same as previous video 815 where we controlled two HO trains with one reed switch, except here we're doing it using large scale trains and we're running outdoors. The method of doing this was explained in detail in the previous video number 816 titled Beginner Exercises for Using the Mini Panel. And that was part five of video number 816, demonstration number 14. Hey, this may... Note there are no blocks required to do this. That is to say no insulated sections in the track are necessary since it's DCC. All we have to do is get one sensor in the track somewhere to operate these trains automatically. As always, thanks for watching. Here we are watching the Arizona big train operators modules in operation. Uh, this is March 24th or something like that, Saturday, March 24th, 2017 at Falcon Field in Mesa, Arizona. These are Eagle Wings Ironcraft portable modules that they set up for like these one day train shows. This is essentially the same as video 815. We're running two trains on one track using the NCE mini panel and one reed switch in the track. Here we're on the uh, Arizona big train operators modules in Mesa, Arizona, and we've got the uh, mini panel controlling the outside track. You can see that red Mac just went by on the outside track and way over there in the uh, far far corner on the outside track there's a black LGB locomotive running. Those two trains are both being controlled by the uh, the mini panel. Here's the uh, here's the setup the mini panels down down here in this case and up here in the corner right there is the single reed switch that's operating this so when the engines which have magnets on the bottom go over this reed switch it signals a mini panel uh, that the train has gone over there and, uh, the logic is the same as part one of video 815 when the train goes over the reed switch this there comes the uh, mac across the reed switch it starts up the train it's stopped which is the black one over there that just started so it the mini panel will now execute the delay statement uh, I think it's about uh, 30 seconds or so it's executing the delay statement when that delay statement times out it'll issue a stop command to the to the red Mac and it, and it happens right about where it gets to that bridge you can see the uh, the red Mac is parked over there and it's gonna sit there on that bridge and wait until that black LGV engine comes around and goes over the reed switch. So when it goes over the reed switch about now, it sends a start command to the, to the MAC, so the MAC starts up. And, and again, now it's executing a delay statement, which will bring this LGV uh, black diesel around and park at about where the bridge is. So it's a very simple operation uh, setup-wise. There, the black diesel part. We're assigned one hour shifts on these modules, so I don't, I don't have half a day to come in and test it. I have an hour to come in and put the reed switch in the track and get things running, so it's kind of hectic, but it seems to be working okay. But again, this is the same as part one of video 815 where we were running two HO engines on the uh, same track. Here we're using the same program and everything. We're just we're just running two large-scale engines on the same track. Again, because it's a, uh, the NCE mini panel 
and its associated command station or uh, NMRA standard. They'll run any NMRA standard decoders, be that be a large scale decoders like these or HO scale decoders. Here we can see both sides of the layout. The Mac is coming around the corner and right about right about there is the reed switch. When that goes over that reed switch, you can see it started the black engine up, which was sitting over on the bridge over there. So now the mini panel is executing a delay statement uh, of about, uh, I think it's about 35 seconds or so to bring that red engine around. And when, it, when that delay statement times out, uh, it'll issue a stop command of the red Mac and it'll sit there and wait until the black LGB engine gets around over here. So the Mac is now parked. The black engine is now coming around the corner. And again, when the, when the magnet on that black engine passes over the reed switch, which is right about here, you can see the Mac over on the far side over, uh, over there started up and it's taking off. And again, it's executing a delay statement to bring the black LGB locomotive around and park it on the bridge. There we are now, the black engine parked and again waiting for the, the red Mac to come around and go over the reed switch. These are Eagle Wings Ironcraft modules, so uh, what seems to work okay, I just slid a piece of cardboard under the module to have a place to hold the reed switch up and then slid the reed switch in under the track. Here we've got the usual setup, we've got a uh, approximately year 2000 NCE command station uh, powerhouse pro and over here is the, the uh, mini panel connected up and then our, our controllers and stuff. This is, the, this is the one used to control the trains. I've got a second powerhouse pro here that I'm using to program it and also start the, start the uh, programs running using the test mode. This display runs for approximately 9 p.m. to 2 p.m. So it's a lot of work for the people who set this up the previous day to set all this stuff up for approximately five hours of running on one day only. You can see we're operating three trains. There's one train on the inside track running on conventional DC, and then there's the two trains on the outside track uh, being operated by the uh, by DCC via the NCE Powerhouse Pro and the Mini Panel. Again, you can see the uh, black diesel over on the uh, far side stop. It's waiting until the uh, that red Mac goes around the corner. And when that gets around the corner, right about now or so. It will start the uh, mini panel will start the black diesel up. So, and then now the mini panel is executing a delay statement to bring that Mac around, and then the delay times out approximately 30 seconds. Uh, it'll stop. The, it'll issue a stop command on the Mac, which will park it over there on the bridge. And there it just stopped, and it's waiting waiting for the black train here to go over the weed switch. This last part of the video shows the same NCE control system being used, except we're now operating the two trains on a small backyard layout. Here we are with the uh, same system in operation on a smaller backyard track. Uh, still in Arizona. I'm running at night because of the heat seems to get to the Dakotas and the engines start acting funny if I try to run this during the day when the sun's out, but it's the same system, two trains on one loop. Uh, the station stop is over there. Uh, you can see the white box car where the black LGB diesel, that's park, and the reed switch is over right about here on the far end of the loop, and it's the same scheme of operation when the train crosses the reed switch. 
the reed switch here, it starts the engine up that's stopped over by the station, so it keeps uh, the two trains separated on the same loop. Uh, this is probably the smallest, close to the smallest loop you'd want to run for trains this size, as far as being you know, tight spacing between trains. Now you can see when they open that black diesel across the reed switch here, it starts the, uh, the red GP9 up. And now the mini panel is executing a time delay about 13 seconds, which will bring that diesel up to the station and park it. And again, we need we need a time delay that's uh, that's long enough that the, that the uh, engine travels past the reed switch. For example, we need a, about a 13 second delay to get that GP9 when it goes over the reed switch to bring it up and park it at the station. So when the next train comes along. The GP9 will have enough time to get going and get get out of the way before the train behind it will bump into the back of it. So there, the GP9 is stopped, and that diesel, that black diesel, is back there in the rear, uh, progressing around the line. And when it goes over the reed switch, which is over here, it'll send a go command. That's the mini panel will send a go command uh, to the red the red GP9, which is started up get it out of the way, there it goes, and the uh, black diesel is running under about a 13 second time delay to get it up to the station and stop it. The, the track is out in the yard as you can see, and then if you follow the wires, which can be uh, seen here on the ground, you can follow the, the wires back past where I'm standing and underneath the porch here, and the uh, command station and the mini panel are in that plastic tote box where I can cover them up and they're also underneath the porch roof so the whole thing doesn't get rained on. We'll go out here and look at the, the reed switch. I don't know if it shows up in the dark but the uh, way the dial in here maybe you'll see the gray wire there's the reed switch. Again, the usual, the usual scheme of operation where the, the engines have magnets on the bottom and when the magnet passes over the reed switch, that tells the mini panel that the engine is here and the mini panel will send the command to start the other train 